After being dominated by Korea for its entire existence, Cyril changed the landscape of the StarCraft II world. When he won the 2019 Global Finals a year ago, he became the first non-Korean player to win the Global Championship. Since then, Cyril has backed up that performance with other international wins. Entering the 2019 Global Finals, Cyril was viewed as the favorite to win over top Korean players like Maru and Dark. But this time around, the trophy would head back to Korea. Korea's top seed in WCS Global Finals was Dark, a Zerg player who had placed consistently well in WCS Korea in 2019. He had also won his first Code S tournament in Season 2 and followed it up with another big win at GSL Super Tournament 2. Oh, that is a lot of Ling Bane rolling oh, in right now. my god. That's it. That wow. is the point of no return. GG, Dark, 4-0 victory. Wow. He is the GSL Super Tournament Season 2 champion. Even with those stellar performances, Dark struggled in the group stage of the Global Finals. He barely picked up wins over Sue and Showtime, but still advanced out of Group A as the eventual winner. Now in the quarterfinals, his first opponent was Maru the player who won four straight GSL events in a row and the last remaining Terran player in the tournament. Despite his past accolades, Maru didn't stand a chance against Dark this time around. Dark won map two in under 10 minutes and would close out the series just as quickly in game three. Every single unit that pops out of those barracks getting ravaged by the Zerg army. Another worm pops in the third base and GG! Dark, he does it with a 3-0 and swiftly dispatches the final Terran. Now in the semifinals against Classic, Dark continued his dominance. Although Classic seemed to put himself in strong situations, Dark had an answer to everything the Protoss player threw his way. Trying to add just as much as he possibly can, but the drones in the main base are going to get caught trying to make their way down to the natural. He's picking off a good amount of them, still a little bit of a worker lead. Let's not forget Classic's walled in on two bases. Everything he has here is just that big everything. And I do not know if the prison's still alive. He's pulling it's another one, but he cannot reinforce as far as he can. I mean, this was such a dream run for Classic so far, but it's not enough. GG Dark takes the series 3-0. to zero. It was another 3-0 for Dark, and he was Korea's last hope to take back the trophy. In the other semi-final, it was a battle of Europeans. Cyril was one match away from returning to the finals. However, a 17-year-old Zerg player by the name of Rainer stood in his way. Oh my god, Rainer coming in from several angles here. The, road, the Ultra is taking a lot of damage. Yoik's there on the Overseer's, obviously can't grab the Ultras, but that's just it! The writing was on the wall, and Rainer has done it! The upset prevented the Dream Grand Final, and although Dark had hoped to face Cero, instead we'd get a Zerg vs Zerg matchup, a matchup that Dark had struggled with in the past. Against Rainer, Dark proved to be up to the task and opened the match with a mutilist push that caught Rainer off guard. Getting in on top of the Queens immediately. Immediately they dive in now. The Banley's heading south over here, taking out some of those Hydras. So many Mutas, I'm not sure if Rainer has enough anti-air. Oh my gosh, these Mutas doing a huge job here, taking out a lot of units. More Banes rolling here towards that fourth base of Rainer. The drones trying to get out. Dirk was aggressive all series long, and after it put him up 1-0, he kept up the pressure against the young Italian. And in fact, all the infrastructure here for Rainer is exposed. He cannot afford to lose these structures. It is absolutely in the way right there, killing his own buildings to try to get through that plus two care base upgrade. Never gonna finish. But with these lurkers out, you can't really engage. Dark is just out positioning Rainer everywhere. Although Rainer would eventually win a game, Dark quickly found himself one map away from winning it all. And he seemed to have the perfect strategy in game five. Dark's putting on some fantastic pressure. And this is actually the kind of pressure I was, I was expecting to not have happen this time around. But with these links coming in here, and all these drones are very low on HP, uh -oh. he's gonna losing a ton of workers, and that's already happening right now. A huge amount go down, 15 drones fall already. And I don't know that Rainer can hang on. And in fact, Dark making his Ravagers dance for a second, and he knows he has this moment. He will be coming, possibly the champion. GG, Dark takes it. And that is it. Dark is finally a world champion of StarCraft 2. All of Korea's hopes were riding on Dark, and after a year of European reign, the WCS Global Finals trophy is going back to its longtime home.